you're a pretty inspirational person. You've identified this technology that Igor has developed as something that has a lot of potential to change the construction industry. And you didn't wait to graduate to jump on this opportunity. What advice would you give to other college students out there to like who are interested in starting their own venture or maybe teaming up with some companies? My advice to students my age is you are young enough where, you know, if you go, if you undertake an entre entrepreneurship venture um, and let's say you fail, what is the worst thing that could happen? Nothing. You still have your whole life ahead of you. So use these moments now to learn as much as you could, to take as many risks as you can. And obviously, like, you know, weigh the risks. If you don't have a really great idea, if you don't have a really great product, then, you know, maybe that corporate job for the next few years might be a good idea. But who am I to tell you what to do, of course. But um, don't be afraid to take risks if you see a very great outcome at the end of it. So that was my logic behind it. Um, and I think that every young person should have this very same outlook on life. That's so inspirational. And I have to ask you, has it been frustrating or difficult to get people to take you seriously just because older people are so dismissive of younger people? Absolutely, especially in the construction industry. Almost every professional that I speak to has, is at least twice my age. Um, so typically... Like, what do you know I'm... about cement? What do you know about gypsum? <laughs> Exactly. Uh, that, that is that is a very fair point, and I don't even blame them for thinking this way. So one way I generally um, uh, tend, the way I tend to avoid this is anytime I go into a meeting with any sort of professional or whatnot, I always bring Igor with me so they know that there is an actual, um, you know, a, a scientist in the room that has experience within the construction industry that's longer than I've been alive. <laughs> so... I, that's one way I tend to um, overcome this. The other way is just to be confident in yourself and just know what you're talking about and understand what others are saying. And generally when you talk in a way and when you present facts in such a way where they're accurate or at least if people understand you, um, it, you know, age is generally not a problem. 